morning, Hank. It's Friday. Good morning, Hank. It's Friday. Hank, you've just been greeted by nerd fighters in Richmond, Virginia, which, at least for a few hours last night, was the capital not only of the former Confederacy, but also the world capital of Nerd Fighter Stan. Nerd Fighter Land? Nerd Fighteria? I don't know. Let's leave it for the nerd fighters to decide. Anyway, I had a great time in Richmond, Virginia. I got to talk a lot about Walt Whitman. I met a bunch of nerd fighters who were doing a lot of cool, clever nerd fighting. I even got to see a Finger Puppet Theater rendition of the talk the Yeti and I had when I was telling her about the Boston car key fiasco. I can't believe you left for the airport with all of the car keys. I know. I'm sorry. Puff levels are extremely high. Hmm. Well, the only way I'll forgive you is if you come back from Richmond with a Brotherhood 2.0 doppelganger in my shape. Done. I'm sorry. I love you. That's actually a pretty good representation of how the actual conversation went, with the main differences being A, I am not a green lion, B, the actual conversation occurred at 5.15 in the morning, and C, 5.15 in the morning is not the ideal time to give a Yeti bad news. So Hank, as you may or may not know, I have all of these extravagant rituals that surround flying on airplanes that I use to keep the um, airplane from, you know, uh, crashing. For instance, if I don't say the Lord's Prayer both when the plane is taking off and when the plane is landing, it might crash. Also, if I do not touch the outside of the plane while I am boarding it, it might crash. Furthermore, while I am in the airport, before I board the plane, I have to purchase something that textually discusses the commission of actual true crimes. Now, Hank, I know this stuff might sound pretty crazy, but the results of it are pretty excellent so far. I mean, I've been on 500... Don't talk to me about security right now. I'm trying to do my video. I mean, I've been on like 500 flights since I started all of these superstitions, and not one of them has landed prematurely. By the way, Hank, do you know when I knew I wanted to marry Sarah? It was when she told me about this book that she wrote when she was a kid that was about a plane crash, and you know what it was called? Thornton's Unscheduled Landing. Anyway, Hank, all that stuff about superstitions is a lead up to this. So when I was in the airport, in Richmond, Virginia, I had to purchase like a newspaper or a magazine or something that discussed crime, and I happened to come across the Wall Street Journal. Now, Hank, usually I don't buy the Wall Street Journal on account of how it's being purchased by Rupert I maintain my youthful countenance by drinking the blood of nerdfighters Murdoch, but I have to say, even though Rupert Murdoch built his media empire primarily by devouring the freedom and opportunity that have been the glory of our nation's past, the Wall Street Journal is kind of a good newspaper. So Hank, I'm just scanning the Wall Street Journal to make sure that there's a crime somewhere on the front page. And, oh my god, it's Daniel Biss! Daniel Biss is in the Wall Street Journal today talking about all the money that he's raised online. And they talk about us too since we helped him raise that money. I mean Hank, that Hank? is you. Hank, this means that Brotherhood 2.0 contributed in some small way to Daniel Biss, a progressive candidate, being featured on the front page of a newspaper that is not noted for its liberal bias. Nerdfighter evangelism is working. Hank, we may be three quarters done, but nerdfighting is just getting started. Onward, nerdfighter soldiers. Onward. Hank, I apologize for all the background noise, and I'll see you on Monday.